<laughs> All right. Uh, so now we're gonna make the second drink. Okay. Now this this drink is obviously born out of the oyster house because we're in an oyster house right now. And if we didn't do an oyster shooter, we'd get kicked out of here by my buddy Bruce here. So Bruce is gonna shuck up a couple of, uh, of specialty oysters, Canadian specialties. What are they? They're Malpex. Specialty Malpex from Ellerslie, Prince Edward Island, Leslie Hardy's farm. So let's get him going on these. You can make this with with jarred or canned oysters. But again, they're not going to have the same sort of luxurious quality as if you're using fresh. And the beautiful thing about this, and I know because Bruce can shuck oysters, we're going to try and save as much as the brine, which is that sort of that, you know, this, that salt water, the liqueur that the oyster is surrounded in, and we're going to include that in the shot. This is great as a welcome drink if you're doing something pre-dinner and the mousse bouche, you know, just something that it's fun, you know, and, and it's a bit different. And for people that are afraid of oysters, this might be the easiest way to ever try your first oyster in a cocktail. And we're, it's a real Canadian theme here because yeah. we're going to make basically a Caesar mm -hmm. and drop an oyster in it. But we're going to do it. No, I was going to say you can't get Clamato anywhere. Well, you can actually, you can start. I found Clamato in Australia now. Okay. I know they carry it in Vegas because Canadians frequent there a lot. Oh, okay. it's, it's finally starting to pick up. You know, Canadians just have to travel more and insist on Clamato. And then sure enough, next time you go back, they'll have it. In Mexico, you can find Clamato. Okay, so we have our fresh oysters. Beautifully prepared. Now, Bruce, we're just going to get a small little fork. Here we go, right here. We're going to just... Take it out and look at that. It's it's been separated from the shell oh so nicely. The abductor muscle. It's a clean cut. Wow. Pour the rest of the, the liqueur in there. We're gonna bathe this. Now you could do this because classic Caesars are done with vodka. Absolute vodka is a fine vodka for this. It's a great vodka. I'm gonna use whiskey because it just plays up the Canadian element of this. So we have nice. the Canadian Caesar with the Canadian oyster and some Canadian whiskey. You know what a whiskey Caesar is called? No. It's called a Weezer. Because the, the whiskey and the Caesar. Love so it. I'm going to do equal what parts. What does the band Weezer think about that? I don't know. So look at already that. So we're introducing all the flavor of the Canadian rye whiskey, which is a very clean tasting whiskey, to the oyster. And then we're going to top that up with our Clamato juice. Okay. So you have a very beautiful presentation. You see the oyster sitting there on the bottom. Now it's as much or as little spice as you like. I like a pretty spicy Caesar. So there goes some hot sauce, some Tabasco. We have some freshly cracked black pepper. Just a little squeeze of fresh lime juice. Just to give it some zing. And in any good oyster house, look at this fresh horseradish right there. You don't see this a lot, but oh. This stuff is absolutely delicious. So we're gonna put a nice little dollop of that in the top. This is mine, I'll make yours a bit less spicy. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do one more very quickly. So these are Canadian oyster shooters. These are Canadian oyster shooters, using the best of what we have here in Canada. It's really okay. elegant too. Like it's actually yeah. quite elegant. And again, like I said, for a party, you know, this would be a great thing to serve because it's also kind of unique. A lot of people haven't maybe had this before. Well, the mix of whiskey and vodka I find interesting too. Well, yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised. And again, if you don't want to go to all this trouble without it, trying it first, just make your next Caesar with a bit of Canadian whiskey instead of vodka. Make a Weezer. Did you coin that term? Or? No, I didn't okay. coin it. <laughs> See, I'm not going to take credit for something I haven't come up with. That's We're gonna great. put a little bit of that in here. We're building it a bit differently this time, but that's okay because it's all going down. So I guess Same we hole. just take it and shoot and it. And we're on gonna that. shoot it. Now this is a bit of a generous one. This is a, a tiny bit bigger. The other glasses were way too small. Okay. And we do things big here on the Food Network, right? That's right. Even though we're in small format right now. Because you're gonna take yours. I'm gonna take mine. Cheers. We're gonna say cheers. Look at each other in the eye. Exactly. And then bottoms up. Bottoms up. All right. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Spicy, but everything's in balance. So many um, layers of flavors. Layers of flavors, but, but nothing's really out of balance. No. And even with the heat, wow. just like... The whiskey yeah. is a nice touch. It leaves you wanting more, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> so we have some more oysters, Bruce! <laughs> Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>